Hey everyone, it's Leon from Card Minnow. So this box is from my father-in-law. It was sitting in the back of his closet for over 20 years. He dug it out when he heard that sports cards were on the rise. So he wants to know how much his collector's items are worth. So I offered to look through the box and let him know if there's anything worthwhile in the pile. So let's dig in and see what's in the box. All right, so the first thing we have is a Michael Jordan 24 karat collectible from Upper Deck. So we open it up and we have this encased gold Michael Jordan Sports Illustrated cover and a certificate of authenticity. So this was featured on the cover of the January 15, 1999 issue of Sports Illustrated and there's only 23,000 of these made worldwide. And on the back there's a story of the article that was printed in Sports Illustrated. I'm trying to see if there's a serial number on this. It looks like it's right here in the corner. You can see it 125 out of 2300. So according to eBay, this Jordan card is worth $70. Next we have a uh, Cal Ripken Jr. 3000, another 24 karat gold collectible. This is from Authentic Images. And once again, you have the gold plated card and a uh, Certificate of Authenticity. So on the card here it says 3000 hits has Cal Ripken Jr. and his signature. And this one is sealed number 703 out of 8008 limited edition. And on the back here we see a little story about Cal Ripken Jr. and his 3000 hits. And we also have the symbol for Major League Baseball, so you know it's authentic, and then the Orioles, and also the company that made this, Authentic Images, and the Players Association for MLB. This Cal Ripken card is worth $15. So it looks like the one we just went over. And in here we have another Certificate of Authenticity. This is also by Authentic Images. On the card itself is Cal Ripken with his baseball hat in his hand. 2,632 consecutive games. And this is serial number 660 out of 2,632. So not a lot of these were made. Same amount of number of consecutive games were made for this card. So pretty rare that only 2,600 of these were made. And this is the back as you see here. This Cal Ripken card is worth $30. This time we have Eddie Murray, still from the Orioles 2003 Hall of Fame. Once again, you have the certificate of authenticity on here. And this one says 2003 Hall of Fame. You have Eddie Murray looking off after he's hit the ball. I think it's from a home run. Orioles, this is numbered. 609 out of 10,000 from Authentic Images again and this is the back of it with his career stats. So I couldn't find a price for this Eddie Murray card. Next we have a card of Ichiro Suzuki. Authentic Images, Certificate of Authenticity and then we have the gold plated card itself encased in this holder with the screws like we've seen for all the other ones. So Ichiro looks like he's about to bat. And Seattle Mariners logo on the top and on the bottom this is 1,225 out of 91,000 limited edition. So a lot more of these were made than out of all the other ones. And could be because he was more popular or that he's a lot younger than all the other baseball players we've been through. So this is the back of the card made in 2001 it seems like. So this is a little newer like I said than all the other ones. This Ichido card is worth $50 currently. Alright, so this is in a different box. It's not cardboard like the other ones we've seen. This is styrofoam. Open it up. And that's because it's different. It's not a gold plated card. So this is a ceramic plate of Mark McGuire. Dated September 27, 1998. And it's 70 on there. Signature on the bottom and two pictures and one running and one with him hitting. So has a plate number 2656, limited edition of 70 by Daniel Leary, first issued in Mark McGuire King's Wing. 
this plate is officially listed for trading on the Bradford Exchange. So it seems like there was an exchange made for some of these collectibles that you can go on and either sell or buy. Pretty cool. This Mark McGuire plate is worth one dollar. Got a folder that says Tiger Woods, 22 karat gold cards. First page of this is Tiger Woods, 2000 US Open. The next page, Tiger Woods, 2000 British Open. And they all have its own commemorative gold card for each of these events. We also have on the next page, Tiger Woods, 2000 PGA Championship. And the last one we have, Tiger Woods 2001 Masters. So this must be all the golf e events he won during the 2000 and 2001 golf season. And each of these has a little story for each of his championship runs. This collection of Tiger Wood cards is worth $80. So in this box, we have this little blue velvet box here. It's pretty heavy for me holding it. And this opens up to a Honus Wagner baseball card, half pound silver proof. So on the front, you see Honus Wagner Pittsburgh. So this is the iconic image. I think that's in the very old baseball card that's worth a lot of money. But here you have it printed on like a silver block. On the back, it says Piedmont cigarette of quality so it looks like it's a cigarette box or modeled after one in silver and like I said it's pretty heavy and the bottom of here it says 0.999 fine silver it's like it's just a silver block that they imprinted these images on this Onus Wagner silver proof is worth $300 okay the rest of these boxes are pretty light so I don't think we're gonna find any more of those silver proof items Okay, and this is Heroes of Baseball. There's a little brochure. And you can put in your record of acquisitions here and keep your documents. So the first thing we see here, we see two cards. They're pretty heavy. They're, I believe they're ceramic and not paper or cardboard. So the first one we have is Brooks Robinson, Baltimore Orioles, third base. And it just looks like a regular baseball card from Tops. And there's a serial number written in, looks like it's a gold pen here, C3414 for this card. Each one of these also comes with a certificate of authenticity from Tops, I believe. And then also comes with this baseball home plate where you can put the card in and showcase them. This Brooks Robinson porcelain card is worth $5. So it comes with two of these because there's two cards and the card on the other side is Bob Clemente of the Pittsburgh Pirates outfield. Here's the back of the card and the certificate of authenticity. This Bob's Clemente porcelain card is worth $8. So it looks like we have four more boxes of these. So let's see what else cards we get from there. Okay, we have Yogi Berra from the New York Yankees. So this says that this is a replica of the Topps 1952 card. And I believe it's the same for all the other cars that we've seen so far and that we're gonna see. This Yogi Berra replica is worth $8. This is Satchel Page, St. Louis Browns pitcher. Oh, so this card was introduced in 53, not 52. This Satchel Page replica is worth $8. Okay, moving on. We have Duke Snyder with the Dodgers. Edwin Donald Snyder. This Duke Snyder card is worth $9. And then we have Willie Mays of the Giants. Willie Howard Mays Jr. The Willie Mays card is worth $7. All right, then we're in the next batch. We have the famous Mickey Mantle card, the one that, if you read the recent news or heard about it, went for 5.2 million. So this isn't the actual card for that because that's the actual cardboard 
part of this is just a replica. And yep, 1952 replica of the original Topps card. So here it is. And here's the back of the mantle. The Mickey Mantle porcelain card is going for $20. Okay, on the other side we have another Yankee Sporting News KC Stangle. This is his 59, as it says on the card, 59 All-Star Selection. Oh, and on the back, it's pretty cool. It doesn't have the stats. It just has a comic. So he was the manager in the American League. The Casey Stangle card is worth $6. So we have two more of these ceramic replica cards. We have Jackie Robinson with the Dodgers. 1952 Jack Roosevelt Robinson So this Jackie Robinson card is worth $5 On this side we have Ernie Banks with the Chicago Cubs 1954 Ernest Banks So the last card Ernie Banks is worth $5 all right, and that's the collection. Thanks for watching everyone. If you are looking for more nostalgia and old collections, check out this video where I go through my friend's childhood box of Pokemon cards.